My name is Alexis Stansler. Um, I used to live in Mullica Hill, and now I live in Pittman, New Jersey. My name is Shanice Bettis, and I am 14. Uh, my name is Nyla Bettis, and I am 11. My name is Ryan Gaines, and I am 8. My name is Eric Gaines, and I am 7. I went from living in Malika Hill, a two-bedroom townhouse. It was low-income housing. Um, I used to get a housing assistance. I was paying for something that wasn't mine. Now I'm putting in money and in, I'm investing in myself. The sense of pride that I get that I end up being a homeowner. Now I'm using the money for my kids. Well before we were all like cramped up in this little space and we couldn't really do that much stuff as we do now. Now, since I have a new house, it's like I feel more spaced out, open, like I couldn't ask for anything better. I first met a lady. Now, she had went through Habitat herself, and she ended up telling me how she went through Habitat and she got a house. And the peace of mind that came over her, like, oh my God, I can't, you know, believe that I'm having a house was just like, all right, I need to apply. So I took a leap of faith and applied. When I thought we were getting a new house, I was so excited to make new friends and finally get to meet some people new. At first I was excited, like, oh my God, yay, I get to have a house and one of my lifetime goals. And then nervousness came over because it was like, I don't have a maintenance man or a landlord to call when something breaks. It's like, ugh, I gotta fix this myself. But Habitat teaches you like so many things throughout the whole process. Before, I was living in a kitchen where it was like, the kitchen room was like half kitchen, half dining room. So now it's just like, okay, my own area. Like, you know, get to decorate it and paint walls if I want to. I could do whatever and it's mine. Like, so that's like, and I love my fireplace. <laughs> My favorite part of the house is the living room because it's very comfy, the couch is comfy and stuff like that. It has a TV where I can watch stuff and it has a cozy couch. <laughs> What's cool about having a backyard is like in the summertime we get to have like a huge big pool and we get to go swimming, we get to play outside, we have a dog so we can just like play with the dog. I like almost every Christmas we asked for a dog, but you know, we weren't allowed to have it. It was so awesome because I got to have a, a new buddy. When we found out we were gonna have a dog, I really wanted to play with her because she's the best dog I could have and I would never want another dog like her. And I just love her. She's just like so cute and like, yeah. Sometimes we get to throw a dog in the pool. <laughs> At the old house, we didn't really get to like, really just go out on the back door because it was so, you know. But now, at this house, we finally get to just run all across the yard so I can finally have some space. It changed my life because it was a lifetime goal, and you know my life uh, ended up not going in the order that I guess it was supposed to be. I had kids first, and you know ended up getting into low-income housing, so and renting. And you want a certain path that you want to sit there and take. So getting a home was I learned, or I received my lifetime goal of getting a house and becoming a homeowner. Like before it was a dream and now it's a reality. So. Habitat Humanity is really great because like it's helping out, like putting a hand in hand. Like it's actually like you're building a house. Like it would be fun for you to actually build a house that is gonna be yours. I didn't realize that there's so much stuff that goes into building a home. There's roofing and there's carpets and there's paint and there's caulking and I mean I can't build a house but I kind of know like you know different details now if something breaks and the value like you respect 
you know, your house so much more, especially when you get to build it. It's like the whole entire time that I was building the house, I'm visualizing, okay, the couch is going to go here. This is going to go there. Like, you know, you appreciate it so much more when you put the work into it. And so now it's like, this is mine. Like, so. People should help out because if you do, that's helping other people. And helping other people is really nice, so you should do it. So, you should. <laughs> donating is important because not only are you donating money or donating time, you're donating hope. You're donating um, goal, a lifetime goal being achieved. You're donating a foundation, like security for, you know, being able to have something I can, a milestone I can sit there and give to my kids, like, and something I can pass on. The moment that I thought it was mine is when we had the opening ceremony and I went to go cut the ribbon and my kids ran through the door. It was just like, they're running to their rooms. They're running, like, you know, I'm showing people off my house. And that was the part where it was just like, at last, like, you know, this is mine, so.